Today we're going to discuss Julie's jugs. Now I spoke to Martin, her husband, and I said to him, Julie's jugs, what's all that about? He said about six years ago when they started doing the painting, all they did was paint, you know, roses and castles on jugs. And then someone shouted out, has Julie got her jugs out? This is one warm summer afternoon, evening or whatever it was. Um, hence the name Julie's Jugs was born. Now, <laughs> I'm not very good at painting. So, um, I am good at eating ice buns with a little cherry on top. Rather tasty. That said, run the intro and run the VT. Julie's jugs. Julie's the wife. Martin's the guy that does all the all the painting, and some of the painting's very good. I mean, So here's the end of the uh, of the course. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I think we all have. Yep. But I'm going to show you all the e designs. I think that's better than efforts. So I got told off for calling them efforts. Um, so I want you to understand, well, try and work out which one's mine. Well, I don't think it's too difficult, but there we go. Yeah, apart from that end one. <laughs> Clench my fist, put my fist between my knees and push my knees in tight. Stand up and stretch. Dreary day. Canal, oh, just hit me head. Canal's moving quite quick, isn't it? There must be there must be an offshoot, 
bottom from wherever it is or something that, that's feeding this part of the canal because it's there's a lot of stuff coming through what to do on a day like today But it's not flaming. Flaming it. This flambe banana thing. It's hard to make the flame flames. Bonaps. Flambe bananas. Mmm. Do you know what? I'm having these again. So. Cakes, forget it. Crumble, forget it. Flambés, lovely. Particularly the ice cream, because I didn't make that. Mm. I tell you what, filming, filming first thing, you know, until you started off is a right pain. Um, Trying to keep people entertained on a narrow boat, I find quite difficult, particularly in the winter when it's not very nice going outside. And the towpath is minging. You just don't feel like it. And at times, at times I struggle to keep you entertained. And this is, this is discussing a comment I had. Um, I'm not overly bothered about it. So you'll be saying, well, why are you mentioning it? Oh, I'm mentioning it because I think it ought to be mentioned and I'm not bothered about it because if someone wants to have a pop at me, have a pop at me. I don't really care, but expect me to have a pop back because that's the way I am. So someone's commented, it's a bit dull, not the words he used. I assume it's him. You know, you need to freshen things up a bit. Well, do you know what? I am. You're using the same part of the canal. No, I'm not. I'm actually on the Oxford. I'm going down to the k &A. So clearly you haven't been listening or not. You know, you cherry pick which, which videos you watch, which is fair enough. I mean, I cherry pick which videos I watch from other people. So you miss half the backstory. So there's a couple of things there. It, it does mean all canals look the same. And it does show that if you don't watch all my videos, and you slag me off, or you knock me, then actually, you've got to get your facts in, in an order. So here's the difference, here's, here's the thing for me, the Oxford is supposed to be the most voted, the most beautiful canal on the network. I don't know if it's true, because I've only traveled from Nottingham down to London, up to Braunston, back to London, uh, back to Braunston and now on the uh, the Oxford, so I haven't really done an awful lot of travelling. That said, I would argue I've done about I don't know nearly 500 lots, and so I don't really qualify as a 20 mile continuous cruiser. You know I do travel about, and I'm fortunate to, to be able to do that because I've retired. But the Oxford is a narrow canal. It can only take narrow boats. And the width of the Oxford is far narrower than that of the Grand Union. That has taken me a little bit by surprise because, well, I said to Colin, oh, if we're struggling for uh, more in, we're going to just double more. Well, you can't, because if you double more, no one can get by you. And the other thing with the Oxford, it's a wiggly, wiggly, wiggly canal it contours the ground I don't know the reasons why it contours it well I do know the reason why it contours the ground because it makes it easier to, to dig 
uh, but I wonder why they didn't put any locks in it. Was it cheaper to contour the ground, i.e. in resources and manpower, I suppose it must have been, than it, than it was to, to do locks? Because then you've got more resources, you've got more lock gates. And I suppose the long-term effects, maybe they did a cost analysis, a through-life cost analysis of the canals, even 200 years ago. Because that was important. Just make the navvies work harder, and they can dig this canal, contouring the ground, doing a wiggly woggly Oxford, South Oxford at that. But the sun's out, as you see, and it's a good day for moving. Fenny Compton I'm going to. Say again, over. Roger out. Stands to reason the bridges are narrower too. So more concentration through the bridges than you did have on the uh, on the big canals, GU, I assume K and A because you've got wides on it. Anywhere you got a wide beam, you've got big bridges. It makes common sense. And you'll notice from the bell cam, Collins scooted away. Well, do you know why? Even on tickover his boat and half move he's got a massive four prop propeller now I've only got a I think it was a 10 by 18 so for at one revolution it moves 10 inches don't know what Collins is a lot bigger than mine anyway so I'm ticking along as Collins ticking along but I'm literally ticking along Admiring the scenery. All around there's no one but you. He hold my heart. Stranger sound gets around us too. In between our sparks. Putting content out there is hard work. And here's the other thing, if you don't like it, watch something else. It's not as if I get paid an awful lot of money for doing this YouTube stuff, it is just a hobby. It does motivate me to get out of bed and do some stuff and there's a picture I've put on the Instagram of me in a shirt and a, uh, a waistcoat. I say it myself, I'm looking rather slim. When I started the boat journey, I was a little large. I put on some timber in my last four years of, of just doing an office job, not the squadron life that I loved. And I thought that was normal. Oh no. I like myself at the moment. I like the way I look. It's a bit narcissistic. But why, if you don't love yourself, how can you... How can you love someone else? You've got, to, you've got to love yourself before you start loving someone else. I'm beginning to get there. I'm still carrying a few injuries and things like that, but I haven't been down the gym. But what I have done is locks and have to go on Shanks' pony, which is my feet, by the way, to go to the shops because I don't have a car. Or I cycle. It just needs more planning. It just needs more motivation. It just needs a little bit more of a hard life instead of an easy life. And today's world is all about making life easy. I don't necessarily agree with it and I didn't recognize it until I've been on the boat. I go red when you're sitting nearby. I'm like a young, young child. Mom.
We've got HS2 site up here, being built. Don't know what they're doing. Well, clearly, high speed rail. I don't know if they're building or tracks or what, or whatever, anyway, tracks, I suppose. So, um, in my opinion, biggest waste of money ever by any government. Um, I just don't get it. And if you wanted, like when Boris was in, let's move some wealth to the north. Let's create a little bit of wealth. Well, why didn't you start from the north? Why does everything have to start from London or wherever it's going? I think it's from Birmingham to London, yeah, whatever. Now, if the government were really concerned about being eco-friendly and all the rest of it, all the money you've ploughed into things like HS2, which is bound to escalate in cost and has probably doubled in price from its original estimate, why didn't you plough it into ordinary transport transport links get the buses going make them free or a pound or, or just a nominal charge you've got to make things cheaper than using a car and more convenient more buses more routes cheaper and invest in the trains and carriages of the network that's already out there the money you've spent on this could have been put to better use. Christ knows what this is all about. Just don't get it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am. Maybe this is the biggest thing since sliced bread to change the way that people live. Doubt it. All around there's no one but you. He hold my heart. Strange sound. <laughs> that last clip, I think that's from um, Russia. Well, it kind of had Russian writing on the top. I don't know whether it was or not, but it's, it's, if it is, I like the fact that the average Russian person, I'm sure, has a sense of humour and is just as funny and is just concerned about what's going on in the real world um, than, uh, as everybody else is. Um, I do watch all sorts of clips uh, from the Instagram. Uh, my Instagram feed's below, as is my website if you want to take a look. And I've left it to the last minute because those of you that watch the whole thing deserve to 
to um, get first dibs on, on what's going on. Um, my merch is, is ready. Um, I've tested out on a few people now with regards to um, delivery, which is my major concern. Um, so if you want to order anything from the website, please do so. And thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. For those of you that are still subscribed, it went up a little bit this week. Um, until next week, I've got some news in the pipeline. I'm not sure when I'm going to release it. It's not the website because I've just said that, but it's something else. Until that time, ciao. Bye -bye.